but that was sort of what you promised, um, and it seemed to come to fruition pretty well. Yeah, I wouldn't say the third quarter went totally to plan, um, but we did want to be a high-scoring team and play an attacking brand of footy, and we were still confident at three-quarter time uh, that we could score what we needed to do. Um, so it was it was great from the girls, the belief that they had to do it, and even at three-quarter time, the feeling was, was very positive, and uh, yeah, they delivered in the end. How do you get them back on track after five goals to nine? Yeah, we spoke about that our plan was just to be in contact with Melbourne at three good time because we thought we could run out the game better. The conditions suited us. So it's just a matter of resetting at that point. It's probably actually handy going into the rooms and to be our refocus. And uh, we knew we got beaten the clearances 4 to 11 in the third quarter. And if we, we said if we did that again, we we're going to get beat no matter what the breeze was doing. So just had to change that around. And to the girls' credit, they did it really well. Broadly speaking, that's arguably one of the best games in the short history of the competition. What, what do you sort of, how did you sort of see it? It's the best one I've been involved in. Yeah, um, yeah. It's uh, yeah, it was. It was it was free flowing. There was a lot of good one on one contests, and the forwards probably at both ends got on top at different stages. Um, and I, I'm not sure it's enjoyable to coach like that when it's going when the, the fluctuations are so vivid. But uh, yeah, it's a good brand of football. That's what we're going to do this year, and hopefully we kick more than the opposition. Obviously, coaches don't like those kind of games, but do you sort of see that that could be sort of the, the template of? You know, I guess the benchmark of where women's food should be aiming for a game like that? Yeah, I, I think so. It, but even the games last night, the Adelaide-Western Bulldogs game, there was a, the skill level was quite high. They just didn't convert in that last 20 metres, which is what happened today. But it, it's going to happen for sure. As the skills get better, the girls train for more. Um, we'll, we'll see more results like that. And how about uh, Kiara? Uh... 12 tackles and the pretty crucial goal at the end. Yeah, it was. Um, we sort of we spoke about her at three quarter time. Uh, 30 months of training and not being able to play. Uh, we knew that she'd give everything in the last quarter, and uh, the girls just had to jump on board with her, and uh, they did to a T. Was that the main theme of what you were saying at three quarter time? It was. We, we had to think about a few things tactically that we weren't doing well, but then after that, yeah, it was like trust our fitness, trust where we were at, and we, yeah, we did know Kiara was going to do it, so just everyone jump on board with her. So what did you change? To the last quarter tactically, aside from getting your hands on the field first? Not too much positionally. Um, we spoke about what our forwards need to do to contest better because they have been really good in the first half, went away from that and just make sure that we spoiled the ball when it came in. They had too many uncontested marks in the third quarter and if we could stop that, then we are confident with our pace up forward, uh, we could score the goals and, and the backs just had to, with the breeze, hold back a little bit and be available for that outlet. Antonio up forward as your, your main sort of focal point? How did Antonio that work? Yeah, really well. She's just an absolute competitor. Um, we have a fight every week between uh, Amy Lavelle and Lisa Webb, our backs and forwards coach, about where she's going to go. Um, but yeah, we, we want to play her as forward as much as possible. We think it gives our midfield a lot of confidence to go to her knowing that she's going to be a, there's going to be a contest. But at times we needed her back today and that'll probably be the theme for the year. We always have a lot of debutantes in round one on the field, but one for you too in the box. How did you find your first... Uh, yeah, it was a lot, a lot happening. Um, <laughs> but no, I loved it. It was yeah, fantastic. I, the assistant coaches were really good. Uh, the information they were feeding me and the decisions they were making. So uh, yeah, didn't feel the pressure too much. Just I suppose any coach at any level, those close finishes, you feel it. But uh, overall, I was reasonably calm. Seven debutants, I think eleven in the squad. How how are you seeing them gel, and how much does a win like this sort of do for the group in that sense? Yeah, that, it's one of the big things is the belief that you know we haven't won a game interstate before. So now that we've ticked that box, just the belief in the group. It, will go up. Uh, the debutantes have been fantastic in not necessarily playing big roles, although Paris Laurie did a great job leading the ruck for us today, but just the character's really good and they make our other players better. They all jumped in there today. I think they all you know, did a really good job for us and um, we've still got another few who are more than capable of uh, jumping in if, if needed. There well, were some pretty like, defined momentum shifts in the game. Did, did you put that down to the, the hot conditions or was it not, not as simple as that. Uh, I think it was a little bit more of just who was winning the clearances at different stages. Uh, that's that's where the momentum seemed to change. Um, I don't think it was hot conditions, although we did run out the quarters quite strongly. Um, I think we kicked the last three goals of both the first and second quarters, so maybe that had something to do with it, but overall I think it was just who was winning the, the ball at the source. Are you happy enough with the, the heat policy in terms of the extra minutes at, at quarter time, half time, etc? Yeah, we were fine. We were, we were ready to go and it, we didn't think it was going to affect us, the extra minutes of the break. Um, yeah, you have to speak to the girls. Uh, it probably affects them more, but uh, we just gave them a bit more time on their own uh, in there and it seemed to work fine. We ran out the game with no problems. Yeah, yeah. they looked all right. There was no sort of major issues with anyone. 
No, no, and that's a credit to um, Kate Stow, our, our high performance coach. She's come from the hockey background, and she's got to go. Was really fit, and yeah, when it was going to be hot, we we're actually happy. We, were, we were, thought that would work in our favour, and it probably proved to. Will it be a lighter sort of week on the track, given that, and interstate nights. Sort of yeah, it's a seven-day break. Um, we'll have one solid session during the week. Um, yeah, no reason to hold back at this stage. Maybe later on, but mm. we've had a, a pre-season to get us ready for that, and we're going to play every game in the heat probably. Maybe. We might get one cooler one at Geelong, but ready to go. We might grab Ebony now, if that's all right. Get her to jump in. Thank you. Cool, thank no you. Thanks,